Do you have a rabbit that maybe has its head tilted to the side all the time, uh, not walking quite right, maybe a little bit off balance, something like that, and you're wondering what's causing it and what to do about it? That's what we're going to talk about in today's video. Hey there, welcome back to another Slightly Redneck video. Again, my name is Chris, and if you're not familiar with this channel, I help you to produce your own meat, eggs, and vegetables from your backyard, your balcony, your deck, your garage, or even a spare room in your house if that's the way you want to do it. Today we're going to be talking about head tilt, also known as rye neck in rabbits. This is a question that came up from one of my viewers on the live broadcast recently. I don't remember who it was or I would have given credit to them, but they asked me to shoot a video on the topic. Now, it's kind of ironic because I don't have any rabbits right now. You can kind of see behind me. These cages are empty. Uh, my rabbits aged out. It was time to get rid of them, look for new breeders. So I'm still on the lookout for some new pedigree rabbits to replace them. Uh, but I can still discuss the topic with you guys and let you know kind of my thoughts on it. All right, so head tilt in a rabbit. I can't show you what it looks like because I don't have any rabbits that have it. Uh, you can look up pictures on the internet and see you know, what rye neck looks like in a rabbit, what head tilt looks like in a rabbit. But if you're watching this video, chances are you've got a rabbit that's suffering from that. There's a lot of different reasons why they could be suffering from head tilt. The two most common are probably an ear infection, like an inner ear infection of some kind, and a parasite. So those are two things that can cause rye neck in rabbits. And it looks, again, like the, head, the rabbit's got its head tilted all sideways, and it looks very painful. And chances are it probably is kind of painful for the rabbit, at least uncomfortable for the rabbit. So there are other things that could cause that, though. Um, if this is a very young rabbit, uh, like, a, like a baby rabbit that has head tilt, uh, you know, it very well could be some kind of trauma that caused that issue, head trauma, neck trauma, something like that. If that's the case, it's going to be very, very hard to fix the issue. Uh, it could be a genetic issue or a vitamin deficiency. It's unlikely to be a vitamin deficiency, but it's a possibility if you're not feeding a good quality rabbit pellet to your rabbits, they could be suffering from a rabbit or from a uh, a vitamin deficiency, especially if you see it in more than one rabbit. If you continue to see it on like generation after generation, you know, something like that where it's coming up over and over again, then that kind of points to maybe some kind of genetic issue and you may want to look at changing up your bloodlines a little bit, uh, introducing some new blood into your rabbit herd or something like that. But let's go with the two most common things, parasites and inner ear infections. Unfortunately, if there's not an easy way to know which one it is unless you take your rabbit to a vet and a vet does testing on it, an MRI, I mean, it's gonna get pretty expensive. So if you want to know for sure how to treat that and you're willing to take your rabbit to the vet, then by all means do that. That's gonna give you more of a for sure answer and you're gonna have more of a good treatment plan to be able to help that. Now, let's assume you're just a backyard meat farmer like I am and uh, you know, kind of vet bills are really kind of out of the question. I mean, it's a little lot to spend on a meat rabbit. So you wanna just know what kind of treatments can you do just to maybe try to fix it and see if that helps. If it is an inner ear infection, then of course it's gonna require some kind of antibiotics to take care of that. Any farm or home supply store should have antibiotics to treat ear infections in rabbits and other small animals. Uh, what you're looking at most of the time is gonna be something like amoxicillin or, um, 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 I, I just suddenly went blank, can't think of the other most common um, antibiotic, what is it? Uh, give me a second. <laughs> oh, uh, you put me on camera and I freeze up. Can't think of what it is. But uh, oh, it's the most common thing. Uh, I gotta look it up. There we go, penicillin. <laughs> I knew it. I just couldn't come up with the word for some reason. But anyway. Those would be things that you would use to treat your rabbit, and what you're going to want to do is go to, like I said, a farm supply store, um, you know, a feed mill, something like a feed store, not a feed mill probably, and just tell them what your problem is, tell them you want something to treat inner ear infection. While you're at it, you might want to go ahead and pick up something like ivermectin, ivermectin, yeah, ivermectin, uh, that you can use to treat rabbits for parasites. And by treating for both of those things right there, follow the directions very carefully, how, what dosage you should treat, how often you should treat, all that kind of stuff then you have a good chance of treating whatever it is that's wrong with that rabbit, whether it's a parasite or an ear infection. Now realize this is gonna take a while to fix. It's not a quick, easy thing to fix in a rabbit, um, especially in a younger rabbit that has developed it and you know maybe it's gone on for a little while. It's gonna take a, you know several weeks probably for you to see good results from any kind of treatment plan you're doing, but just follow the directions. That's your best bet at being able to save that rabbit. 
One other thing I might want to mention is that it could just be a simple case of ear mites. If it's not a drastic head tilt, if it's just a little bit of a head tilt, it could just be a simple case of ear mites, and that's a pretty easy fix. So check in the rabbit's ear, see if you notice anything that looks like scabs um, forming inside the ear, and if that's the case, it probably is ear mites. And if that's, if that, if that's all it is, then really just a couple of drops of any kind of um, food grade oil, olive oil, mineral oil, uh, coconut oil, any kind of food grade oil. I wouldn't use coconut oil. It kind of solidifies in a cold, you know, too high or too low, too high of a temperature, I should say. But, you know, olive oil, canola oil, vegetable oil, I mean, any of those kinds of things, any food grade oil is going to work. Put a few drops in their ear every day until those scabs are gone, and then every other day for another week or two afterwards just to make sure you get rid of them. And that will take care of the issue for you. So this was a pretty quick video, pretty quick topic for me to discuss. I, unfortunately, I don't have any rabbits to be able to show you and kind of walk through it, but hopefully that description makes sense. Uh, you'll know kind of how to handle that if you do run into that. Don't feel bad if uh, you know you can't get it to, to you can't treat it, you can't get it uh, under control, and you end up having to call that rabbit. Unfortunately, depending on what the cause is, that's a lot of time the outcome whenever you're dealing with head tilt or rye neck in rabbits. But good luck. I hope that you can get that problem fixed. Thank you so much for watching. As always, God bless.